So one thing that I learned um, recently was that there's nothing wrong. So check this out, guys. I, I was writing on my phone, and I was saying, man, what's wrong? What's wrong with me? Anybody ever feel like that? Because you do something, and then they're like, man, you did that wrong again. You're like, man, what's wrong with me? I keep doing it right. Thank you for being honest, man. That's beautiful. Thank you for being vulnerable. By the way, this is a safe and secure place. So then I say, okay, nothing is wrong. And as I'm writing on my phone, the next thing that comes out is the only thing that's wrong with you. Listen up, guys. The only thing that's wrong with you is your belief that something is wrong with you. The, you resisting, you, oh, no, no. the only thing that's wrong with you is that you believe that something is wrong with you, that you believe that anything or all should be different, and that you are resisting what is. What in you has you in the illusion that something is wrong? You get to pretend that something is wrong with you, but the truth is that right now, are you okay? Anybody, nothing hurts? Any, nobody, nobody's dying or anything, right? Nothing, everybody's good, right? You're breathing, right? You're good? So there's really nothing wrong, right? And you might have came in here thinking about some problems that you were having that were making you feel some type of anxious or maybe depressed or, or maybe worried about something. But in reality is, right now, some of you guys, you know, eating Cheez-Its. Some of you guys, you know, drinking water with a straw. You get what I'm saying? Like, some of you guys are, you know, I don't, but he's chilling. You know, like, I don't want to say have a sleep, but he's chilling. You know what I'm saying? Like, some of you guys are doing things right now, right? So there's nothing wrong. It's all in your mind. So then this song comes up called The Illusion, and I'll share with you guys. It says that everything we live in comes from an illusion. Everything we live in is based on illusion. When life puts you down with a knockout, you feel like you're ready to drop out. It's really time for you to clock out, like give up, surrender. It's just an illusion. There's nothing wrong. The only thing that's happening is that you're being distracted, right? So let's, let's talk about illusions real quick. An illusion consists of something in life that always deceives you by producing a false or misleading impression to the real you. What's the deal, boo? You feel like a past trying to kill you? Dreaming of a future that can fill you with some love and confidence to feel good, be official? Your life isn't over. If you're still breathing, that means that you can start over. It's time to pull over and get out the illusion that has taken over. Your ego that's taking control, making you feel like you're losing your soul, living out of purpose, missing the board, missing all your blessings, missing your rewards. Ego, you can have that. Fear, better stay back. Illusion of money, we pass that. Living in fulfillment, we got that. From negativity, we stay back. Even if it finds us, we lay back. Being in the present is a life hack to remove all illusions and fight back. Y'all got that? Being in the present is a life hack to remove all illusions and fight back. Everything we live in comes from an illusion. Everything we live in is based on illusion. When life puts you down with a knockout and you feel like you're ready to drop out, like you can't take it no more, it's really time for you to give up, clock out. It's just an illusion. There's nothing wrong. Check yourself. You're okay. Everybody's here, right? Nobody's in harm right now, right? Exactly. You are okay. Second verse says, I stopped living my life making up stories. They had me feeling lonely with worry, missing the glory. I did an inventory of my thoughts and categories that were holding me back. Now I realize they were working for me. Once I accepted the present, I felt like I opened a present. With any thought that would come up with a good or bad, I feel I'm bringing my essence. I stay connected to presence. I stay walking in acceptance. I stay looking out for hitting opportunities that can turn into a blessing. Ego, you can have that. Fear, better stay back. Illusion of money, we pass that. Living in fulfillment, we got that. From negativity, we stay back. Even if it finds us, we lay back. Being in the present is a life hack to remove all illusions and fight back. Y'all got that? Yes. You go like this instead of, instead of clapping, you go like that. But listen, let, let me ask you guys a question. What do you get from that so far? What do you get from illusions? Go ahead, mommy. It's on an illusion. It's okay to give up on an illusion? Is that what you said? Beautiful. Most of the time, what? You can get excited. You could get excited. That's what you said? Anxiety. Oh, most of the time you get anxiety? My bad. What? Anxiety. Anxiety. What about anxiety? You're in anxiety. Right, perfect. I mean, and again, I, and I'll give you this. You probably, I don't know if you heard this or not, but since you're going to hear it now, it'll help you. Um, when you're thinking about the future, it's when anxiety kicks in. When you're thinking about the past, it's where depression kicks in. 
when you think about the present moment, is where peace is found. Right? Because right now, if we think about the future right now, you don't know what it's going to what it's going to look like. So anxiety starts, oh, my God, I don't know. What did they do this? My mom, oh, my God, she's going to, right? Make sense? Yeah. And then if you're in your past, you're like, man, I should have done this like this. Man, I should have done this like this. Depression. Y- you understand that? But in the, p- in the present moment, when you guys realize that everybody's okay, right? Your body, nothing hurts? Nobody's, nobody's dying? Right. So are you at peace that you're not dying, that, you, that you're okay, that there's nothing wrong? You understand how, how simple that is? So now when you start in your thoughts, that was a good one. You had one to say, my friend? You, oh, somebody raised their hand over here? Nobody raised their hand? I thought somebody raised their hand. I'm seeing things. Guys, so um, illusions, right? Present moment. So how does that help me in my life? When, 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 I'm in my, when I'm in my emotions, right, my energy is going like this, ah, right? I'm able to come and manage my emotions. How? One of the steps that I take is this thing called the ABCs. Can y'all repeat that? A, B, C's? Simple. A, B, C's. A for awareness. So A, what, it, what A does is makes me aware that I am not my thoughts. You guys don't create your thoughts. You look at your thoughts, right? The thoughts are there. You happen to grab a thought and you make a whole story about that thought. Man, I think she's going to do this. Man, I don't know. I'm sure when you guys walked in here and you guys probably saw me, you had thoughts. Like, what is this guy going to talk about? What is he gonna, anybody had thoughts? Can, you, can I share some? I mean, I'm just curious. Go ahead. Um, like, who is this guy? I don't know. I was just wondering about what is this. About, cool. What was your thought when you walked in here? A teacher about regular things? Okay. What, this name regular? <laughs> she listened to me. I didn't think it was like, I Got you, got you, got you. I think that's it. cool. So, you, so everybody had a thought, right? And then you, somebody, you guys run with the thought. Others decided not to run with the thought, right? And you sat here and you like, let's see what happens. Anybody have words like that? I don't know. Let's see what happens, right? Cool. And there's some that just let's see what happens. And then there's I don't know. Hopefully not, but maybe there was one or two that was like, man, I don't know about this guy. Man, who is this guy? So, so you see a, a, a positive, a, 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 I don't know, and then a negative one, right? They are all thoughts. A makes me aware that they are all thoughts, that I'm here. So A, A I, I pretty much check my body. Can you check your body right now? Like, can you, can you feel your hands? Do you, do, can you feel, can you, right? Can you feel your, your clothes touching your skin? Do you feel that? Like, even if you don't move, can you feel that your clothes are touching your skin, right? Like, your, your shoes are tight. For those that have their shoes tight, like, can you feel that, right? That's... That's awareness, like that your body, that you're here, right? B is for breathing. Can, can we all take a deep breath real quick? <sighs> when is the last time you took a deep breath? Just not, oh, beautiful answer, I can't beat that. But before this one, before this one, well, it, huh? It's been a while, right? Isn't, isn't it crazy that it's something, what was that? About a year. So just think about how important that is, that, on a daily basis, you could actually stop. And if you notice when you stop and breathe, watch how your whole body kind of just. <sighs> did you notice that your body was a little bit tense? <sighs> I don't know if anybody did, but I did. Right? It was, and you took a deep breath and it kind of just soothes you down, right? That's A, B, breathing. And C is choice. What is a choice that you would like to make? How would you want to feel? How do you want to feel? How do you want to feel all the time? Somebody say that. How do you want to feel? Grateful. How do you want to feel? You in the next one, the next one. How do you want to feel daily? Happy? Calm? Calm? Relaxed? Safe? Beautiful? What is it? Peaceful? 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 You back there, bro? How you want to feel, man? Naked. How you want to feel every day? How you want to f- huh? Good. Good. Okay. How you want to feel? Good? Less. Good. How you want to feel? feel Safe. Safe? How do you want to feel in the back? I think my man, he knocked out. He knocked. 
how do you want to feel every day, man? Relax. Relax, beautiful. Pos what you say? Happy, happy, happy. 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 Miss Maldonado, how do you want to feel every day? Joyful. Joyful. How do you want to feel special? Joyful. Joyful. Yeah, you already answered. Yeah, yeah. So everybody wants to feel something good. So what if I told you that it's your choice? Like, you can actually feel how you want to feel. Right? Right now, I, I can know that. I know this who has good energy. I know this who's, right? But it's all a choice. Because I could make the same decision right now and just be like, but yeah, man, um, but yeah, um, you know what I want to share with you guys. But, but I make a choice to be like this. And it feels good. Not, good, not for you guys. It's for me. Because it makes me feel good. And it makes me feel how I want to feel. So what that does is it allows me to take ownership of my life and not let something external take ownership on how I want to feel. Does that make sense? So this is next song that I call, called Loose Control. And I feel like we all have control in life, but I feel like it's loose. Not that you lost it like loose or lose control. No, that you have it, but it's loose. And you have to re be reminded on a daily basis to tighten it up, right? So the song says, you don't want to lose control, and I don't want to lose control. We got to make a plan to distract our distractions so we don't let we lose control. You have to make a plan to distract your distractions. Meaning, if I know that I'm walking into a place and I know somebody has a little vibe that, ah, that, that, that every time I, it come, I come around, it just, ah. It, it, have anybody been next to someone that almost like it, it almost like drains your energy, like it sucks your energy out. You know, you might call them annoying. You might call them, you know, like, oh, but it's just somebody who's just, just sucking the life out of you, right? So, so, so that, how do you make a plan to distract your distractions? If you know that's about to happen, you need to know what your frequency, what your emotion is like. So when you walk into the place, you don't allow anybody's frequency. This is you. you you're chilling. This is that relaxed mode you're talking about. I live in that relaxed mode where I'm like, I'm, in, I'm grateful for this. And it's amazing what, what God keeps doing in my life and how he keeps opening doors that I don't even have to push. It's just smooth how it happens, right? But if I allow somebody else who's, ah, or who's, uh, affect mine, then I go off balance. I go off my frequency. You understand? So you have to make a plan to distract your distractions so we don't let we lose control. First verse says, many... People claiming they got it when it's time to show. They act like they forgot it. If you make time to breathe, instead of being reactive, you will make time to see that you'll be indistracted. Many fall, many stumble, many get in trouble. Many people are going to try to enter in your bubble. Don't let the haters in and make you stumble and find yourself emotional and filling the road you'll rumble. It's time to shine. It's time to elevate your mind, fully controlling your emotion. The fact that it will be your grind. The momentum you create can keep you focused and aligned. If you tighten your control on a daily basis, you will be fine. And you don't want to lose control, right? And I don't want to lose control. You got to make a plan to distract your distractions so we don't let we lose control. Every day I got to make a plan. Every day I got to take a stand. Every day I got to focus on what matters. Not allow for any chatter to put a stop to all my plans. We have control. Don't ever feel like you ain't got it. It might feel like you don't because you're working in the wrong habits. When you feel it lose control, it's possible for you to grab it. Recognize that you have everything you need so you can handle it. This is what I represent. I'm glad that you are listening. It's going to take some time to practice this, but when you master this, you're going to be a person with great discipline. And you don't want to lose control. You had a question? Go ahead. What made me want to rap? Cool. I'll finish this last verse and I got you on that. Oh, actually, the verse makes sense with it too. Because I say having control means... That you have to, having control means that you have the power to influence yourself and your behaviors. Y'all got that? Yeah. Having loose control means that you allow for someone or something to distract you and you gave that power up. Does that make sense? Yeah. Cool. So if you know you have control, you better guard it. If you still have dreams and pause, it's time for you to start it. Time waits for no one. There is no way to stop it. Make the best of time enough. Your painting be the artist. Our time is always fading, and we ain't promise. Some people acting shady, and nobody's doubting. 
I've been noticing lately that I got it. Avoiding lose control creates success in my life, no doubt about it. You don't want to lose control. I got that, I don't want. Okay, man, I got to lose control now, pack now. Go ahead, bro. Huh? Are we, I, thank you. That's what's up. It's on YouTube. It's part of. You'll hear it in a few places. Um, to answer your question about music, man, in the in the in the and this is, this will apply to everybody because everybody has a special gift. It's just finding a gift. I start, when I, I for 26 years of my life. Let me put this this way. I wasted my life for 26 years. I did some of the dumbest things that would not get me happy. That were not making me feel proud, it was making me feel guilt, shame, embarrassed, a bunch of other stuff because of doing wrong things, right? I come in Christ, I accept Jesus in my life, and things start to shift in my life, man. And I start, start to understand that I'm here to impact someone's life. I say, man, how can I impact someone's life? And when I start looking back at different gifts and abilities that I had, I say, man, maybe, maybe, maybe I could do something with music. And Never in my life thought that I would be doing what I do now when I, when, when I first started. So th- you guys have gifts inside of you guys that you guys haven't even tapped into. But, and it doesn't take age. Age is just a number. I promise you, age is just a number. Because healing doesn't take time. It takes awareness. Like it takes you knowing something to know that you got to forgive something. And because of my fruits, I got, I got a 13, I'm 30, I'm, I'm 30, I turn, bless you. I turned 40 this year. I'm 39 years old. I turned 40 this year, right? I got a 13-year-old daughter. And look, I'm going to show you some fruit. This is my daughter. Check this out. Let me see if y'all can hear this. You already know, man. I'm here rocking with the... This is the first time. Watch this. Jazz, Lee Marie, a.k.a. Jazzy. Yo, this is her 16th freestyle. We just came up with this. She just learned that she can actually freestyle. At 12 years old, she learned this. They feel it, but we leave that shit for more blast. They stay working late at the job that they hate, and they thinking that life is a man, yeah. Life is a test, but the hardest to become your best. You move up in your class, you get in your class. Right, right, I'm hyping it up. Yeah, obviously, I'm gonna hype it up, that's my kid, huh? What was that? That hit hard? That hit hard, I like that, man. <laughs> Wait, the point, what I want to share, you guys have a question? You got a question? Oh, yeah, and again, it's, just, it's, it's not even my doing. It, it, at the end of the day, you guys are, it, what this, again, we understood earlier that you are impacting someone's life without you realizing it, right? And it's doing it so much to where my daughter, without me realizing it, and I did it because we did a, po- a little podcast together and we talked on the microphone because she was sharing a song with me, uh, the, her, fir- her very first song about forgiveness. At 11 years old, she did her first on uh, YouTube, Instagram. Uh, she wrote a song about forgiveness. And for an 11-year-old to write a song about forgiveness was huge to me. So I was like, don't tell me yet. I set up the podcast, put the camera up, boom, and we start to talk. And then she starts explaining to me. She's like, man, you know, it's interesting because... I always, you never stop impacting other people's life. So she's telling me the things she saw in me that I wasn't even aware that I was doing because I wasn't doing it for her. I was doing it because that's how I feel good. Make sense? Again, how, you guys know how you want to feel, right? Right, so ABCs, awareness, breathing, and choice. Like you make the choice on how you want to feel. And because of that, you'll start to see things happen. You'll start to see other opportunities happen. And you start to see other people around you change instead of you having to change. Understand?